Hey guys, so I found the location of both my serum resistance bases, the decoy one and the real one. So, um, <laughs> let me just recreate this world in 1.15. Um, that is not the seed. Let me enter the seed properly. Okay, so, um, basically people were pointing out when I found the decoy base, so I looked at the video from Scal where I found the decoy base, and when it blew up, there's bedrock here as well. So, I had a look, and I found this location. Um, I basically kept adding more and more onto it until it only found one, and then once it only found one. I just went there, so once this loads up, we have two sets of coordinates now. We have um, the original one I found, which is here, 244152, um, and we have this new one. So let's go first go to the first one, which is 25152, and I'll just show you the... um. TP at A, let's just start out this. Okay, so the first one is here. Um, in this mushroom iron biome, which I think is right by the shopping district, actually. Um, so we dig down here. Okay, and now we just dig this way, and we will see, um, I think it's this way, or is it this way? Yeah. So you dig this way, you see the diorite pop up. Um, I don't know, there should be iron around here somewhere as well. Um, I remember correctly, the way forwards is actually positive Z. It's like the way forward from it. Or something. Um, let me just dig out a big area here. In fact, let me just. Let me just do like this. This should work. Yep, and then let's do. Uh, I don't want to kill too much space. I don't want to go look for other important landmarks in it and whatever. Okay, I'm seeing myself night vision, so effect give at a night vision. 255, 255, okay. Um, so if you look here, um, one of these directions, um, it's probably this way or this way, positive Z, right, this way. Um, so sand and Kyo, um, you move this way, you kind of see like the die right here, and if I just um, this is about to run out. Let's see what myself we on go. Okay, so if we take a look at, um... At Green's video, which I have a screenshot of. Here. Um, see this diorite here, and then this piece of bedrock? You see it's the same here, as a diorite, diorite, bedrock. Then, um, you know, this little L shape right above it is right here. And then to the side, there's this other L thingy. And that kind of matches what you can see in here, right? Um, so that's, this is that first location, is, is this area. But I also found, um, where the other base was, the so called decoy base. Um, so as you can see here, you can see. On this side, you've got the piece bedrock here, you've got two bedrock here, a two bedrock here, and then a four L-shaped thing, and you see here you've got the same bedrock, 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 L-shaped thing. So that's the, that's the same location as well. Um, 
and um, that's at this location. Forty negative forty four one two one two three. So CF TP negative TP at a negative forty four two five five one six three. And this is the um. This is the decrease. Well, it is. Okay. This is the positive x. That's that the alpha redstone you can see before. So you see here's the um one bedrock, two bedrock, you know, and then up here is gonna be um the L shaped thing. Alright? So that's the same area as well. Now um some people pointed out that there was a dungeon located at one of them. Um so let's figure out which one. Um Game Mode Spectator And that's just have a look. Um, I don't see any now here. Wait, over here. Yes, there is a dungeon over here. So that's somewhat close by, I guess. Um, keep in mind, here's the two right next to each other. Here's the first one, and then here's, I suppose, the decoy one, which is... They're actually pretty close together, which is interesting. Um, they're more or less in the same area, like only a couple hundred blocks away from each other, which is neat. But, um, the only spawner, there's a spawner down there as well. So there's a spawner here, which is closer to this one than it is to um, the other one. This one, yeah, it's, it's closer to this one with this spawner than the other one. Um, so there's that. Does this one have a spawner on there at all? Yeah, this one also this one has a spawner over here. So, you know, this one is a bit further away. I also feel like it's a bit too far away for the building. This one, spawner makes a bit more sense. It's also much lower down to where it was. So yeah, I'd say this is probably the real base location. It is in this general area. But the vault is definitely right here. Like the vault for it is definitely like exactly down here in this exact spot. Hang on. The vault for it is in this exact spot. That if I were to jump this wall again, you could actually see the exact iron ore that was there and shit. Um, but yeah, so I found this decoy one as well. So um, if you now you can see when people in the comments say his one is within this area, which is um what um tw twenty six one five one fifty around that area. Around the 2150 on the quads, that one is probably the real base. And the one, if people say over here, by um, negative 43160, then that's probably the false base. And these bases are actually pretty close together. Like, legit, these two locations are like one's over there and one's over there. Like, which I guess kind of makes sense, because the mushroom biome isn't actually that big, right? Mushroom biomes are pretty small, generally. Well, this one, this one's actually pretty big, not gonna lie. But generally, mushroom biomes are pretty small, so it sort of makes sense. Um, but I, I just can't believe they build them so close to each other, like, you know, this is... <laughs> how, how many blocks away is this, anyway? It's just like, what... Five, six. 
uh, about like a, I don't know how many blocks it is, but it's it's like it's not it's, it's not that far. Now I guess it sort of makes sense because he wanted to um troll them with the um the sheep thing, and obviously having to build tunnels to a completely different location to the same from the same place would have been much more difficult than just building it a few blocks away from the original. <laughs> but you know, um. I just I just thought that was that was neat that they put these really close to each other. Um so yeah. These are definitely two faces. Um this one here is probably the wrong like you said there's a there's a dungeon near the area and actually there is a dungeon right here as well. So um yeah, and it's a zombie dungeon. And it comes into here and there's also um a ravine that had obsidian in it. And as you can see here there is a ravine with obsidian. So this is the right area area. This is definitely the right area. Um, and, you know, the bedrock kind of also gives it away. The fact the iron ore was in the right place also kind of gives it away. Um, I can't show you that because I kind of emptied this entire area out, but there was, there was iron ore though. Um, in fact, so, um, here is Squeen's video, and then see the iron ore, and then move over, and the iron ore is there, and the diorite right there, you just can't see it. So, yeah, it's the same location. Um, and, you know, the dungeon is there, the mine shaft is there, the freaking ravine with obsidian on top, yep, that's all there. So, <laughs> I would say that this is most definitely the location, and if you wonder where the false one is, maybe you want to fall off the hep, um, tell them it's over here, okay, but, but really, really, we know it's over here, okay, we know it's over here, but, but tell them, tell them it's this one, okay, okay, good. <laughs> oh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I want to make a small correction. In my last video, I said that quartz bricks always um, are facing positive x. This is actually not true. Um, they are always facing positive z, as you can see here. Um, this is positive x, that would be that way, and negative z would be that way negative z x being that way so positive they always face towards positive z no matter where you put them what way you're facing when you do it they always do that so yeah um this is a small mistake but yeah uh that's really it thanks for watching